friends, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. It is Friday. I am outside of my WW workshop. I apologize for the orange glow that I currently have, but it is dark actually dark dark outside so I'm just using my overhead light in my Jeep so sorry in advance for that probably not the most attractive look but anyway it's Friday I'm here it's just before 6 30 in the morning I'm gonna go way in stay for the workshop but I wanted to share a little bit with you guys about my week so it's been a week it's been a rough week. It's been really busy. As I've mentioned, I'm in the process of converting what was my old exercise room into an office, which I'm so incredibly excited to do. It is going to be both for my real estate career as well as for YouTube. I have some amazing lights. I have some backdrops. I am super, super excited. So I've been doing a lot of shopping to pick up exactly what I want to make my office have the feel and the vibe that I'm going for. Also, my husband has decided that one of the spare rooms in our home, as well as one of our bathrooms, he would like to change the decor in that as well and lean a little bit more towards the um, rustic, moosey, loggy, loggy type of decor. So I've been on the hunt for that as well. So I have been doing a lot of shopping not to mention, I just closed on the house for my clients yesterday, so that consumed my last couple of days. I have another client that we're re-putting her house on the market at a lower price. It's been a week. It's been a busy week, so with that has come a little less stellar performance in WW. I can't say that I've had a terrible week, but I definitely went over my points almost every single day this week. Not substantially, but I've went over my points almost every single day this week. So it was just a week and it was just a, one of those weeks where I just, life was life and it took over uh, versus my WW program. But the good news is this week should be much, much better and it is the first of November. So I am committing to several things in the month of November, which I will share with you when I come out of my workshop. So I'm going to head in. I'm going to weigh in. Cross your fingers. It's a decent weigh in and I'll see you guys after the workshop. Hi friends. Welcome back. I'm officially out of my WW workshop and it was such a great topic. So you know that I have just started to incorporate regular exercise into my weight loss plan. And you know, I've been going to Jazzercise. I absolutely love, love, love Jazzercise. It is the one workout activity that I look forward to rather than feeling like I literally have to drag myself to the gym. I love my Jazzercise class. So this week at our workshop, we talked about activity and we talked about some myths versus some truths regarding activity. You know, some of the myths out there are that muscle weighs more than fat, which we know is not the case. Muscle takes up less space than fat, but if you put a muscle of fat on a scale and a muscle, or a pound of fat on the scale and a pound of muscle on the scale, they're going to weigh the same. So there are just some myths out there regarding activity. So I want to give you seven truths regarding activity. Truth number one, activity adds up. It is not true that you need an entire hour of sweaty activity to make it count. You don't even need a half of an hour of activity. They say that 15 minute bursts of activity every day is great for your body. So this is things like cleaning your house, going on a short walk, doing some shopping. If you're shopping, it needs to be a somewhat brisk walk. So not browsing the shelves and finding the perfect item. That is still activity. It's better than sitting, but we're talking about actual activity. 15 minutes a day is really all that your body needs to see a difference. Number two, you don't need a gym or fancy equipment to get an activity. Everyday things, climbing stairs, playing with your kids, stretching before you go to bed in your pajamas, cleaning your house, doing yard work, raking leaves, shoveling snow, all of those things count as activity. And guess what, you guys? It's free. It's free activity and you don't need a fancy gym or weights. Now, I know that a lot of us, myself included, do a lot better with consistent activity if we actually are part of a gym or a class or something that 
entices us to go or have a workout buddy. So as you know, I've been going to Jazzercise with one of the girls in my workshop. That is my accountability because she's going and she's depending on me being there. So I feel like I need to be there whether I have to drag myself there or not. So finding those little things every day that are free to get your activity in. Number three, you can start activity right where you are today. Again, it doesn't have to be a sweaty, intense hour or hours of exercise. It can be something like a brisk walks, a little bit of movement, climb an extra set of stairs, take the stairs instead of the elevator or the ramp at a store or a location that you shop at. Those types of things, anything that kind of gets your heart rate going is considered activity. Do a little extra cleaning, do some deep cleaning, climb up and down the ladder a few times. Just do things that get your heart moving and that's all you need. That is still considered activity. Number four, strength training is the key. And really you guys, it's not as big of a deal as we might make it out to be in our head. It doesn't involve big heavy weights. It doesn't involve lifting 25 pound dumbbells. It can be as simple as using your own body weight, pl planks, lunges, modified push-ups on your knees, giving yourself using your body as the weight. You don't need to buy equipment. You don't need to join a gym. It's things you can simply do in the privacy of your own home. And all of those things not only will tone your body and help on your weight loss journey, but they will, they will give your muscles that added boost, which burns metabolism, which really burns calories and ups your metabolism. So one thing that is true about muscles is muscles burn more calories than fat. So when you do any type of strength training, your body continues to to burn calories long after you finish the exercise. Where with cardio, your body is burning calories during the cardio and then a little bit of the time after the cardio. So it's important to incorporate both strength training and cardio into your workout plan. And number five, activity should be fun. Find something you enjoy. Don't drag yourself to the gym every day and dread it and do a half you know what job when you're there because you absolutely hate it. It is proven that if you find an activity that you enjoy, you are far more likely to stick with that activity. Case in point is me joining Jazzercise. I don't care what the membership costs every month because two things, I go, which is more than paying less money and not ever going to the gym. And two, it's an activity that I enjoy and it's an activity that I can stick with and sustain for the long term, which is exactly what picking an activity should be. We all like different types of activities. Some of us are runners. Some of us like classes. Some of us want to work out at home. Whatever it may be, make sure you enjoy it because you're far more likely to stick with it. Number six, timing is anything. You don't have to get up at 3 a.m. and get your workout in before work. Take a walk at lunch or after dinner. Do a little bit of activity. Fit it into your life. Don't feel like you have to go first thing in the morning. Maybe that's best for you. They do say that people who work out in the morning tend to stick with their activity long term. I change mine up. I go to jazzercise classes in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, however I can fit it into my life. By fitting it into our life consistently, we're going to do it and we're going to stick with it long term. So just find a time of the day that works best for you. And number seven, which is my favorite truth about activity, is activity is more than weight. Yes, do we often see a gain on the scale when we start a new activity? Yes, but you guys, it's way more than that. It contributes to overall better health, better sleep. You stay on track when you're doing activity because I don't know a single person that wants to bust their behind doing an activity to just eat all of that work away. There are so many health benefits and mood benefits, sleep benefits to activity. So it isn't just about the scale. And I have to remind myself of that because I know that just starting a new activity, I might not see the scale go down for a little while. And like I've mentioned before, I am so okay with that because I know what I'm doing is better for my overall health. And eventually I will reap the rewards of that activity on the scale. So the huge takeaway from today and talking about the truths behind activity, two words, just move. So now that we've talked about activity, let's talk a little bit about my weigh-in and then I want to go over my November goals with you guys. I don't see the point in doing a whole separate video about these goals. They are things that I talk about weekly with you when I do my weigh-in and my uh, workshop recap. So I'm going to incorporate them a little bit here in this video. So like I mentioned, my week was a little rough. I was over points most of the day. I did go to Jazzercise 
three days this last week. I actually, it's a funny story. I went yesterday, Thursday at noon and there was no instructor. So there were several of us just waiting outside of Jazzercise and no instructor came unfortunately. So I wasn't able to get in my workout yesterday. So with that, I would have had four days this last week, but I am going today at 4.30 and I cannot wait. I cannot wait because I am working in the office most of today, which involves a lot of sitting. So I am excited to actually get in some activity tonight. So when I stepped on the scale with the week that I had, I was actually up 0.8. I know that that's not a lot, but considering the activity and some of my food choices, I'll take it. I know that I wanted to lose. I know that my goal was to track. It just didn't happen this last week for me, and that's okay. We're not perfect every week of our weight loss journey, and I want to stress our weight loss journey. So my point eight might not be okay for some people, but it's okay for me because I know that I did my exercise. I feel really good about that. And I know that it's my fault that I'm at point eight. So I only have myself to blame and I'm okay with it because it's a new week. It's a new set of weeklies. It's a new month which also leads me right into a new set of goals. So let's talk November goals. So November is a little bit of a crazy month for me. It is my birthday, my husband's birthday. It's our wedding anniversary. And those of you that didn't know, my husband and I actually, our birthdays are one day apart. So his is November 17th, mine is November 18th. And we actually got married on his birthday. So November 17th is quite a day for us. It is my husband's birthday and it is also our anniversary. So it's a busy month and then you have Thanksgiving in the mix. There's a lot of these holiday parties that start coming down the pipe and it, it can be challenging. The next two months can be extremely challenging. So I have set some goals for myself for the month of November. So number one goal is my goal is to lose eight to 10 pounds in the month of November. So that's on average two pounds per week. And in order for me to do that, I have to stay on track, which also means that I have to track honestly. So I have talked about my little dollar tree star stickers that I picked up and how I like to put those in my Erin Condren planner. And a lot of you have actually asked about my planner. There is a link for Erin Condren down in the description box and you can save $10 off of your order. I love my planner. I use it every day, all day. It is how I track my life. And I bought these little stickers where I can stick that little sticker on to the day at the end of the day that I stayed on track means I got a blue dot. So it doesn't mean necessarily that I may have went over my points one or two, but it basically means that I got a blue dot for the day. So my goal is six days a week to have a little star in my planner. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to show you my planner throughout the month of November. So you can see if I'm sticking with this goal. I would not have a star on the day that I use my weeklies because I'm over that blue dot range. And actually, let's talk a little bit too about weeklies. So generally on Saturday, I just eat whatever I want whatever I want during the day, snacks, meals, whatever. I am going to limit that to one meal on my splurge day or the day that I use my weeklies. So it isn't going to be a free for all for the entire day. It's going to be one meal, one meal that I get to have whatever I want, whether we go out to dinner, make a pizza at home. I want to have cake that day, whatever it is one meal. And I think that's going to help me lose a little bit more weight as well, because I'm still using my weeklies, which I highly highly encourage you to do, but I may be not going over my weeklies, if that makes sense. So that is my other goal for the month of November. And my third goal is to continue on with Jazzercise. My goal is to go three to four times a week. And there are some times that I really would like to go five days a week if I can swing it in my schedule. Real estate slows down over the winter here because it's freezing. It's 20 degrees right now. It's cold, it's snowy. So it just, there's no excuses why I can't stay on track and I can't do a little bit more activity during the next couple of months. And my, and my fourth goal, the last goal for the month of November is I am going to eat more whole foods. I like my snacks and I'm okay having my snacks, but I'm going to limit my non whole foods to just my snacks. I'm going to try to eat a lot more fruits and vegetables, a lot more lean protein. And with that being said, I'm going to be selecting my new plan that I'm going to be following as of November 11th. So as you know, if you don't know, WW is 
taking away freestyle and incorporating three new options, the blue, green, and purple plan. They are actually taking away freestyle because freestyle is one of the plan options. But as of November 11th, they are giving you the choice of three programs to follow, which is amazing because not everybody is successful on the same program. And WW has realized that and are now offering us extra programs to choose from to follow. So I will have an entire video in depth on the new programs when they are released. I have not decided which color I'm going to follow. I want to hear all of the details first and make the best educated decision for me. So definitely stay tuned for that. So that comes along with eating a little more whole foods and selecting a new plan, which I am so excited about. So those are my goals for November. So I want to hear down in the comments, what are your goals to make it through the beginning of the holidays. You guys, it is the hardest time of the year to lose weight, maintain your weight with all of the holidays. So what are your goals? I also want to hear down in the comments, how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And what are your plans for the upcoming week? Stay tuned next for the recipe on the back of the weekly. It looks really, really good. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do weekly weigh-ins every single Friday. Well, for the most part, unless I'm out of town for some reason, but I try to do a weigh-in video every single week and I also recap our workshop. So if you're an online only member or you don't have the money to join Weight Watchers, you just follow our way of eating. I'll give you all of the details of the weekly workshop. So make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload. You don't want to miss a single video. Please give this one a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It plays into the algorithm of YouTube. So please, please thumbs up this video if you liked it. And again, comment down below. I want to hear all about your week. Thank you guys so much for staying with me. Thank you for your love and support. Happy, happy November. Stay tuned for that recipe on the back of the weekly. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.